everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Rhiannon and today I'm going to be filming the booktube newbie tag. Um, so I'm really excited to do this video but I'm really scared. <laughs> I've been putting it off for quite a while now because I was trying to think like, I don't know, I don't want to be that basic girl that's just like, oh I started a booktube because I love talking about books but like, isn't that why everyone starts booktube or just something like love in general, like they want to share their thoughts and they want to talk about it. Um, I don't know, I've been a bit scared, but I thought, you know what, sit down, film this video and put it out there because I really want to do this tag <laughs> and I want you guys to get to know me as well. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm doing today. So the first question is, why did you start your channel? And um, I briefly touched about this a second ago. <laughs> And that is my love of books. Um, I've been watching BookTube for about four years, maybe more. Um, so yeah, <laughs> I've been watching it for a long time. Um, and I've always sat on the other side of the screen, so to say. So I'd have my own thoughts, but I'd always hop onto BookTube and find someone's video about whatever I wanted to rant about whatever I wanted to discuss, um, that sort of thing. So for me now, I just want to be able to give my honest opinion on certain things, you know. So yeah, I want to be able to share my honest opinions about topics, books, even like possibly films, because that's the sort of thing I enjoy. It doesn't even have to be like something like a review it can just be for fun like I do my unboxings which I love maybe some people don't like that but I love it um as my channel grows I hopefully want to try and get filming more discussions and stuff so that I can enhance my reading if that makes sense I want to be able to read more critically but also I still want to read for fun so the aim for my channel is to just talk about books in all shapes and forms different videos and all that jazz. Yeah, that's basically why I started this channel. Hopefully that made sense. <laughs> the second question is what are some fun and unique things that you can bring to booktube? Um, so as the name of this channel suggests, I'm Welsh. Um, I've got a few video ideas that I've been thinking of where I want to incorporate my heritage into stuff like that. I don't necessarily want to post a load of Welsh things but it is something that's important to me maybe sharing a bit of like Welsh history or Welsh literature on my channel um like one of the main points <laughs> I was watching someone's video the other day so they were talking about King Arthur and you know the first thing I thought was King Arthur is actually a Welsh story so the first time King Arthur's ever mentioned is in a piece of Welsh literature called Cilwch Ag Olwen. Um, that is the first time he's ever, ever mentioned in a piece of literature. His story just grows from there really, so um, that's something interesting. So if I can sort of share a bit more about stuff like that, I don't know, like just here and there, <laughs> a bit of videos discussing maybe stuff like that, like a story time where I just maybe tell you about some old tales like Celtic folklore and stuff like that um, because that's what I'm studying at university I absolutely love it it's so fascinating um, yeah I'd love to share that or incorporate that into my channel somehow but aside from the Welsh aspect and stuff like that I'm just gonna be me this channel is a true representation of me so I will never give you thoughts that aren't my own um, anything like that I will be harsh if I need to be harsh and you know if I love a book I will talk about it and um, doesn't matter if people don't like it I like it do you know what I mean um, after all this is my channel that's why I wanted to represent I want it to be a fun place but also you know like I say if I don't like it I'm not gonna pretend because that would be false and it's not me yes yeah, so that's a few things <laughs> I'm trying to think of different things that I've not seen in booktube newbie tags basically so um if you're thinking, oh, this girl's are really weird or something like that. <laughs> um, sorry, I don't mean to come across that way, but um, I'm just trying to think of different answers. Um, so hopefully 
these ones make sense because I feel like I'm just rambling. <laughs> So the third question is, what are you most excited for about this new channel? Basically, I'm just excited to get chatting with people. I feel like I've already got a few friends sort of thing, like um, I comment on other people's videos and they always sort of comment back and like my tweets and stuff like that. So I am getting more into this community rather than just sitting back and being the one who likes everyone's posts. Like I'm interacting with different people, you know, it's nice to be able to do that and to have them also comment on your stuff back if that makes sense because I feel like um, especially for the bigger booktubers like they have so many people commenting on their videos you know tweeting them stuff like that that it's going to be harder for them to acknowledge you um, so this community just starting out as well it's just nice to know that people are accepting and that they do obviously appreciate new booktubers and stuff like that so that's really lovely, it's one of the things that makes me the happiest. Also, I'm just excited that I've finally started my channel and that I can talk to you guys because when I have a rubbish day, I'll come home, I'll sit down and I'll watch some booktube videos and it instantly makes me feel better. So hopefully my videos will do that to you. Um, <laughs> hopefully, cross fingers. <laughs> but yeah, obviously I'm just starting out so maybe you've not seen everything I have to offer um, that sort of thing but I'm trying <laughs> like the editing might be bad the videos might be repetitive but you know I'm finding my feet I feel like once I'll settle that's when things will get more exciting because obviously I'll have a little bit more of an understanding what to do um, and how to create better content so I'm so excited I'm just excited for what this is gonna bring number four is why do you love reading I don't want to like copy people's answers or anything but literally I read to escape that doesn't mean anything's bad in my life it doesn't mean anything like that it's just that I can sit down open a book and I'll immediately be transported into another world and it's just the most magical thing literally when I read you cannot talk to me because I zone out, I'm in that world, like, that is me. <laughs> I get so immersed, I feel all the feelings, you know, like we all do, that is why we read, that's why we have booktube channels, because we want to talk about our feelings, because you get so immersed that you just forget about reality, even for a tiny second, and I feel like that's just amazing. Like, a piece of literature that can keep you so enthralled I think is one of the best things ever honestly <laughs> question number five is what book series got you into reading um I have two for this and you'll see why in a second but the first one is the Chronicles of Ancient Darkness series by Michelle Paver so when I was in year seven or eight in school I can't quite remember um, my English teacher came up to our little table so say there's four of you to every table that you do your work on and everything. Um, she came up to our table and she sat with all of us and she said, right, I've got this book that I want you to read. And she said, if you go online, you can order the entire box set and say it was like 20 pounds for six books, which is very cheap. Um, she said, you know, each of you, you love reading. You obviously show interest in the class. I think you would enjoy these books. And so what did I do as soon as I got home? Yeah, you bet. I ordered the books um, and I started reading them. And I oh, honestly, like the last question, like my answer to the last question, I could not put it down. Um, I would highly recommend you read that series because I think it's amazing. I keep rereading it. I keep going back to it. It's one of those that has such a special place in my heart and that's one of the reasons why because my teacher came up to me and pointed me in their direction. I remember as well one of my friends um, he got them, I think three of us got them out of the four and um, the only boy that got them it wasn't a race but he kept coming up to me and was like oh have you read this bit yet have you read this bit and we just sit down and have like a mini discussion sort of thing about them and it, it, is, it was just like I say the most magical feeling and that's what started it off and I still go back to them like I say if I go on holiday or anything like that I always make sure 
I've got the series with me, whether it's whether it's in their physical form or on Kindle. I love them. Um, I fly through them now because obviously I'm older and I can read faster. Um, it's middle grade as well, I think. I'm not quite sure. I'm not sure what the official description is. Um, but it's amazing. It's about a young boy named Torak and his father is killed by a demon bear. Um, and this world is full of clans and stuff like that. So Torak, I don't want to spoil it, but he may be in the wolf clan. That's all I'm going to say. Um, and then he meets a girl from the Raven clan and his story sort of unfolds from there. He meets friends along the way, which I love. <laughs> um, there's a wolf and the wolf is amazing. So... <laughs> Um, yeah, I would highly, highly recommend that series because if you can't tell the way I'm talking about it, I just absolutely love it. I've not read it for about two years now and I've been thinking about it all through last summer because I was just like, I need to reread them because I love them that much. Like, I will never not love that series, so. <laughs> and the second series that I want to talk about, um, most people on booktube will probably say that this is the series that got them into reading and it is of course the Mortal Instruments series by Cassandra Clare. So initially I'd seen the books around but I never really sort of thought much about them. Um, I then saw, <laughs> I think I was in Tesco and um, I was walking down the DVD aisle and what did I see? But Lily Collins' beautiful face. <laughs> on um, a DVD case and I thought oh what's this and I picked it up and it was the Morse Instruments City of Bones movie and I was just like mum I need I need to get this so bless her because I was only well say I was only young I was quite young um, my mum bought it for me um, and I went home and I watched it I think three times that night I watched it just like straight after each other again and again because I loved it and then for my birthday, bless her, my mum got me the first five books in the Mortal Instruments series because it was only five that were out at the time. And yeah, I flew through them, like I say. Um, absolutely loved it. Like, at that time in my life, I needed that book series and I will forever be thankful for that. Um, I don't think at all that the movie hindered my experience in any way. Like, that is the reason that I picked up the book series. I love the film. I don't care if you don't. Um, my personal opinion, I absolutely love it. I will keep watching it. Um, I'm gutted they didn't make another one. <laughs> um, but yeah, Jamie Campbell Barrows Jace. I love, and I know that's like some people don't, but oh my God, I I absolutely love Lily Collins and Jamie Campbell Bower as Clary and Jace. So there we go, I've said it. <laughs> So yeah, those are the two series that got me into reading. Um, so I'm extremely grateful for them both. Um, they've changed my life in so many ways. Like, it's ridiculous. I cannot imagine myself having not read those books. Um, so yeah, <laughs> there you go. So number six is what questions would you ask your favorite booktubers? And I don't really know. Um, that sounds strange. I'm trying to think, but I don't really have an answer for this. Um, I've met Sasha from A Book Utopia, which she's just amazing. Like, <laughs> honestly, you cannot find a nicer person. She's genuinely just so nice. I met her at um, a signing for her new book, Zenith, um, that she co-wrote with Lindsay Cummings, but Lindsay couldn't be there because obviously she was pregnant at the time. Um, so I met Sasha and I got to talk to her there and I feel like I asked her like um, you know how she dealt with all this. The water stores I went to was packed with people just wanting to see her like it was nuts even in the UK like I can't imagine like the pressure she must feel. Um, so I think that's that's when I would ask different booktubers because I feel like everyone deals with stuff differently. I, c I don't ever think of myself as ever being <laughs> nearly, nearly as successful as any of them. Like I say, I'm just here to share my opinions and stuff like that. If people watch me, that's just amazing and I'm so thankful for that. Um, 
but like I don't think I could deal with having not pressure but expectations you know people expect certain things from you after a certain point I feel and I would love to know how different booktubers deal with those types of things you know because like I say it's different for everyone so yeah I would love to know that just so maybe something would help me as well <laughs> just in daily life as well you know if you ever feel pressured or anything like that that's what I'd love to know the seventh question is what challenges do you think starting a book channel will be the hardest to overcome um for me that's posting because like I said I'm at uni um so that takes up quite a bit of time a lot of time actually and I also work um part-time I say part-time it's I work about 30 hours a week um I also play netball for a local team and stuff like that um, and I also want to you know spend time with family I don't want to just be working in uni and stuff like that um, and that's what I've been struggling with the most since starting my channel is the posting because I don't like editing and <laughs> um, so I've got a few videos filmed but like the amount of time and effort it takes to edit a video and everything like that I just feel like I don't have at the minute, like I've got four essays due in at the minute in the next month. <laughs> um, so that's just like, it's a bit of added stress. Um, and I'm doing this as a hobby more than anything else, but I also wanna be consistent because I don't wanna not be posting. Like that's the reason I started this channel is because I want to post and I want to share, you know, my reading journey with you guys. Um, so I think, after this semester, so the start of 2019, it will be a lot better because I have one less module to take and I want to, if not keep my hours in work, then lessen them a little bit just so that I have a little bit more time for myself because at the minute, like, I barely see my boyfriend anymore. <laughs> like, I start work at half six in the morning and then it depends if I've got lectures what time I finish. Um, for example, I'll just say, on Monday I work half six until half ten and then I'm at uni 11 till six and then I have choir from six till seven. <laughs> so that is a really like jam-packed day. Um, so when I get home I, I genuinely like I'm too tired to read some nights like I just want to lie down and go straight to bed so um, I think that'll be the hardest obstacle to overcome as of right now. And then I think if there's any more obstacles in the way, you know, I'll just deal with them when I meet them. Anyway, to answer that question, the biggest obstacle my channel faces at the minute is me posting. <laughs> and so the eighth question is, when did you start reading? So I, I touched on this um, a few questions ago when I mentioned my teacher in school. Um, but... I started reading a while before that I just I kept on taking breaks like I'd read for ages and then I'd stop and wouldn't read for like a year or something it was ridiculous um, but I used to have a library card for my local library and I used to love going there we used to go if not once a week then once every two weeks at least and um, me and my sister always used to go and we got to obviously choose the books we wanted to read and I would almost always choose a Goosebumps book by R.L. Stein. I don't know why, because those things terrified me, but I absolutely loved them. Um, so that must have been when I was about, I want to say like 10, maybe younger, I'm not quite sure. Um, but I, I have vivid memories of me going to the library and getting so excited and then just going home and reading them straight away. And there's one story in particular I remember reading it and I was petrified, like I'm telling you, I was scared. <laughs> and it was A Night in Terror Tower, I think it's A Night in Terror Tower. That one just completely messed with my head. Um, oh my god, I still think about it now. I've still got that book, I actually bought a little bind up of three books from the Goosebump series. Um, and what that one is in it, so... I'm scared to reread it. I haven't read it since <laughs> because I was that scared. Um, but yeah, so it must have been about nine or ten years old, maybe even younger because I also remember, you know, um, like the Scholastic Book Fairs. I don't know 
if some people had that, but in Wales or possibly in the UK, there was a book van that came to your school. I'm not sure if it was once or twice a year sort of thing, and literally they would just have like so many books for different age categories. And I cannot for the life of me remember which books I always bought, but I think it was something like Magic Kitten. And it was always a story about like how this magical kitten found its way into like a little girl's or a little boy's um life. And then it just it just it just was a really nice story, but I can't remember what they were about because mum threw all of my copies away. <laughs> which I was really mad about when I found out, um, because I did love them. So I've been reading for as long as I can remember really, but I've I started like reading continuously and I guess critically the time the Mortal Instruments was around like when the movie came out obviously like I said I'm not quite sure when that was um I'll have to double check but that's around the time that I started reading and then buying books so <laughs> yeah so I'd probably say I was about 14 I think Question number nine is, where do you read? I'm currently living away for uni. This is my flat. I live here with my boyfriend. Um, so it's literally a two bedroom flat with a bathroom. Um, so <laughs> if he's playing his Xbox in there, I might sit in there, but if I want um, in there being like the lounge area, um, if I want a bit more peace and quiet, I will come and sit here on the bed and just sort of cuddle up and read. Um, I prefer to do it in the lounge because obviously there's a sofa and I feel less tired. Um, also I can hear a bit of like background noise from outside as well which is nice. Um, so that's where I read but um, in my house at home we've got a little um, chill room we call it. <laughs> it's basically got a few candles, a sofa, you know, telly and all that. Um, so I usually light a candle, sit on the sofa with a blanket and a cup of tea or something like that and I will just, I could stay there all day. I used to, like no shame, that's what I used to do. <laughs> and my mum would come looking for me and she'd be quite concerned like, are you okay? And I'd be like, yeah, I'm just reading. <laughs> so yeah, that's where I'd read. And then the last question is, what kind of books do you like to read? Um, I will basically read anything if it interests me then I will read it. I I don't really mind if it's middle grade, young adult or adult. Um, the only genre I tend not to read from is sci-fi. Um, I don't have a particular love for sci-fi, which is weird really, but I don't know. F for some reason, it's just not for me. Um, I also don't really love romances. Like, um, I can deal with contemporaries. Sometimes, you know, a contemporary story is really nice. But I don't like the, you know, smutty romance type books for some reason, which is, again, is a bit strange, but there you go. It's not for everyone. Um, but apart from that, I love all genres. Like, I will read from most genres. Um, I think, though, my favourites are young adult fantasy or adult thrillers are the ones I think are my favourites. Um... But you'll see on this channel, I read <laughs> whatever. So yeah, I think it all depends on my mood as well. Like, sometimes I will have a mood where I just want to read contemporary, which is completely different. But again, it's completely fine because, you know, that's what it is. Um, so I'm definitely a mood reader, but all year round, I do love YA fantasy um, or urban fantasy, but I'm starting to lean more towards fantasy fantasy, <laughs> if that makes sense. So like completely out of this world where this world's rules don't apply that sort of thing that's what I'm currently loving um reading tastes change so you know they might might not be the same um but like I said before the chronicles of ancient darkness I'm not sure if that's middle grade or not but I love it like Percy Jackson I guess is middle grade and I love it <laughs> um it's just that sort of thing like I don't really mind what genre it is as long as I'd enjoy the story so that's what's more important to me and then that is it for this video um I feel like I've rambled on a lot so if you've stuck through this thank you very much um <laughs> again I'm nervous about posting this because I feel like like I said I didn't want to 
sort of say what other people have said so I've tried to bring in aspects of my personal life and stuff like that um so hopefully that'll come across really well on my channel um if not I'm sorry if you don't like it <laughs> I feel like some of these questions are so just like big if that makes sense that you can't answer them like why do you love reading like I could go on for hours about that but I have to well I don't want to bore you so I'm trying to keep it short but do you know what I mean it's those types of questions so um yeah we'll see but that's a small introduction into my channel and the stuff I enjoy and stuff like that so if you do sort of like what you hear um please subscribe to my channel that would mean the absolute world to me thank you guys so much for watching this tag and I will see you soon in another video bye